I will show you what do you do when you receive this email telling you that the, your hosting account in Bluehost has malwares and how you can delete them all and avoid the $300 they want, they want to charge you. So you're going to receive an email that says malware report and then they show you a partial list of all these malwares. Mm? and they show you the, the, the files. This is the important thing. So this is what we do. <clears throat> we go to our Bluehost account and those are the sites that I have. Uh, those are the domains. And we have to click on advanced to go to the file manager. You click on file manager and you go to the root directory. From the root directory, you go to the scan report. All right, March 22nd. So on the scan report, I will show you the file that they sent me on that email. I download all the files and I will show you because let's see if I can find the scan report exactly the one uh, malware malware scan report 12 October 12. okay this is the one so I open the scan report uh, I'm going to put this on the other screen so it doesn't bother me this is the scan report <coughs> I have three um, monitors and if you go to the end it shows 284 files infected and all the, all the files are here mm? you follow the path the website this is one of my websites I have many websites in the same account and you go to each one of them how do we do that? Um, let me go. So, this is the root directory. We have to follow the path. Uh, let me show you once because it's better if you have never done this before. <clears throat> For example, this path, you have to go to the public HTML. So, this um, public HTML which is here you click on that and in each folder this is the one that I'm going to choose let's choose this one the Carlos Reiki is one of the websites that I have they will tell you exactly where the file is WP content themes 2022 and the template so we are um, here, Carlos Reiki, because I, I use WordPress, WP Contact Themes, and it was 2023. We go to the 2023, but this is important. If you click here, it's not going to go anywhere. The only thing that's going to do is to expand the file. You have to click in here and you look for that file. I already deleted, but that file called here template dash configuration php the interesting thing when the file was here all those files all the files with the virus were had the same date april 26 2023 so this is something that will help you when you are deleted and so on then there was another file here now it's not there anymore the the, the what is the name template dash configuration they are not 2022 2021 template configuration and we uh, delete them all remember you have to click here on the name of the file if you click here this is not going to change so we have to go through everything one by one it doesn't take that long <clears throat> many times like in, in cases like this that was one nested after the other I delete all the images 
uh, subfolders. I will show you. But I delete everything in uh, in this uh, uh, website because uh, it was giving me problem. After you finish that, you call Bluehost. Hmm? You call Bluehost. Let me see. We have to be there and ask them to run a scan. Now, the first time they are going to try to bullshit you and sell, send, sell you, try to sell you, they will send you, uh, let me bring my phone. So they will, um, where is it? Blue horse, blue horse. Oh, I delete the guy. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can uh, retrieve. Unfortunately, I delete the um, the message, but they will send you to a company, a third party that belongs to them. They don't tell you that will offer. They tell you while well, your files are infected. They, uh, you have to hire us, uh, our service, and we are going to clean up your files, and it's two ninety nine. So, I didn't want to pay that. But the problem is that Bluehost didn't tell me this procedure that I just showed you, how to do, delete the files until I complain and I threaten them to, to take all my 12 domains and, and websites to another uh, uh, service. So, once you clean all the files, you clo uh, call Bluehost and tell them to run a scan. And tell them to run the scan when you are here in your Mm, root uh, directory and you see the scan report this scan report mm, that was yesterday that change from the last if I um, this is a report a, a previous report from October 12 okay this is the original report look I put view and I will show you all the the 284 files uh, with viruses. And um, what is it doing here? Uh, let me see if I am October 12. Uh, okay, all the, 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 the reports are there. <coughs> but look at this report from yesterday. After we delete all the files, this is very, very important. Oh, there was only one. This is the, the, the only one. One file was in the trash. So I show you how to avoid this. We have a, a trash folder here. A trash folder. Let's go to the report again. Uh, yesterday. Oh, uh, look at this. This report has. Okay, this is important. One, two, three, four, five, six. I deleted personally. But it's, I forgot to check bypass, skip the trash, and delete it permanently. So I deleted to the trash, and it didn't work. And I will show you. Let's say it, <laughs> that we are in the trash folder. And I, I want to delete this. And I put delete. Oh, uh, no. Not, not in the trash. I have to go to another um, um, website. Uh, I think uh, this is going to work. I want to delete this file that I have no idea what is it. I press delete and gives me this option, skip the trash and permanently delete this file. <coughs> if we don't do that, it goes to the trash folder and when they do the scan, they show that there is a, a malware in the trash folder. So when we do this, let's go to the trash folder. <coughs> you see, it's not here. And I will show you again. Let's go again to this. Um, um, I don't have things, uh, plugin themes here. I'm going to, 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 to delete something here. I'm going to delete this. Uh, let me see if here. There are a lot of things that I can delete. I'm going to choose this one. Screenshot PNG. I'm going to put delete. And I'm not going to uh, um, check the skip the trash. Remember, it's called screenshot.png. I do that, and I go to the trash folder, 
you see the screenshot is here deleted but the problem is it's going to show in the report so after deleting the 284 files I asked them to, to run the report and there were these six files that I remember I forgot to check the um, skip the trash and delete permanently. This is very important so it will save you time. They found three more and I know that uh, with 284 is um, sometimes you skip some of them. I went and delete them but look what ha happened later. I did another scan after deleting those nine and there was a new file a default file in the trash. I have to go delete it. You see there is only one file uh, infected. And um, finally, after hours going back and forth with Bluehost and telling them, do the scan. And I was there waiting until I see that there was a new scan um, uh, report until this report look it came clean totally clean there is nothing zero files and then i called them again and, and i told them um reinstate my account it took me two days of work to do it but it's worth it so i hope that uh, when you have that problem um, you apply this um and then the interesting thing so I have all the scans. This is, is the one clean. This is the one with, uh, uh, actually, this is the one with only one. This is the one with the um, nine. And this is the completely clean. When it's completely clean, it has very little bytes. But the other thing is this. When I confront Bluehost and I ask them, I am hosting my files in your server. You are responsible. They told me no, and they got upset. Look what I found. Malware clean in March this year. Malware clean. What does it have? They clean the files. So they wanted to bullshit me and, and make it pay the money. And I have many more files. Let's go. There were 300, removed 364 and, and restored 378. I need to, to uh, um, download this file so they don't um, they cannot fool me again. It's all in the Bluehost account. Fantastic. So they are responsible for that, but they don't want to tell you. Hmm? And again, summarizing, you, you are going to receive this email hmm, that says um, malware report. From that email, you go to your account, click in Advanced. Advanced takes you to these um, um, utilities. Click on File Manager. File Manager sends you here. You, you are in the root directory. And you download the scan report. In my case, was this one. I download this. Um, I download this. And I open that file. That file is somewhere. What is my notepad? Here. And I put this on uh, next to me on the other um, monitor that I have. And I go one by one. I follow the path. We have to go to the public HTML where all the folders. This is a shared account. What does it mean? In, in the server, there is one, this is my account, I can put the different uh, websites with the different domains in different folders. So I go, uh, let me put it over here so I can, to the public HTML, I open the public HTML, that was a video for business, something like that, um, video marketing here. I expand, I expand WP content, I go to the teams, I choose the teams where the malware was, in all of them I had one, and it's, it was called um, template-something-php. I go there, let's say, screenshot, we are going to do the same. We click delete, 
and we must check this box otherwise it will show in the trash and when you do, they do the scan again it will show that the the file deleted was to the scan so we go one by one uh, I don't know no 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 cancel I, I don't want to do I, I already um, um, delete it and again we go one by one on all the files it takes a while but you say 300 bucks not only that it empowers you so you know what to do next if you want I think this is a good ah after that you call Bluehost and tell them to run a scan again in my case when I did that the files from 284 uh, by, um, infected viruses, I got the, se the second scan, the next time only nine. I went to all of this and I missed this, I missed this. So, the scan again, can you see this? From 40K with 284 files infected, went down to 1.7 kilobytes, and then the next one, it has only one. But every time that I delete the files, I have to call Bluehost and ask to do a scanning. And finally, after several hours, oh, this is a, something very, very important that you have to consider. When you have so many files, and if, uh, I mean, I have like a 10 domains or more uh, uh, websites, it takes 67 minutes to do the scanning. So you know that after one hour or whatever says in the report, uh, in the, uh, report here, you can call Bluehost. But again, you need to be in your root directory and see that they create a new scan report. When they cre create a new scan report, you're going to see something like that. When it's running, uh, view, you're, you're going to see only a file, but you're not going to see the summary. This will show after the uh, 56 minutes that took to scan all my files. First was 67 and then 56 because I delete a lot of files from websites that I don't use. So you go and keep asking for reports until the report shows zero. You see above this summary and here says zero files. Look at the other. This is one file. The other was 284 files. The other was, on, uh, huh? yeah, uh, this was only nine files. When you get the zero files, like this one, you call Bluehost and you tell them, but you have to, 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 to be affirmative. And I told them every time that I, I talked to them, I told them, I am losing money because you closed down uh, all my accounts. And they do it. They do it because they don't want to lose a, a, a client. Okay, God bless you.